day. Welcome to Philippine Information Agency CAR Weekly News Roundup. I am Daryl Parayno. And I'm Helen Grace Tulio. In the news. Alfonso Lista Benguet in Baguio City lead Nutrition Regional Awardees. Ruena Munchang for the details. The municipality of Alfonso Lista in Ifugao, the province of Benguet, and the city of Baguio won this year's Nutrition Award during the Regional Nutrition Awarding Ceremony last October 13 at Venice Hotel. Alfonso Lista also won the consistent regional outstanding winner on Nutrition Awards and received 500,000 pesos last year. This year, the National Assessment Team will start evaluating the municipality. If Alfonso Lista maintains its status for three years as Crown Awardee, it will join the ranks as National Honor Award or Hall of Famer. Hall of Famers were Kapangan in Benguet in 1998, Kiangan in Ifugao in 2002, and Ifugao Province in 2014. Crown awardee for the provincial category is the province of Benguet, while the crown awardee for the city category is Baguio City. They are expected to receive 500,000 pesos each as cash price from the national level within the year. In Mountain Province, we Pirobredo visits Natonin. Rowena Munchang will give us the report. Vice President Maria Leonor Robredo has visited Natonin Mountain Province Thursday last October 13 for the celebration of the Indigenous Peoples Month and the culminating activities of Civil Service Anniversary. In a brief dialogue with the local officials at the Alumni Hall of the San Roque Church, Robredo said part of her program is to visit Indigenous communities and poor municipalities to listen to their concerns and see what the government could do to address these concerns. If Ugao Town adopts VP Robredo as a feed, Mary Cavaya has the news. Vice President Lenny Robredo has been adopted as daughter of Asipolo Ifugao during her first visit last October 14. Through Resolution 2016-65, the municipal government adopted Vice President Robredo conferring her the name, Appin, a native name which connotes bravery. She disclosed that the visit was part of her activities to know the real situation in the grassroots for possible assistance and to bring the government nearer to the people. She also thanked everyone for their support during the 2016 election. In Lagawe, Ifugao, PWD trains 14 weavers. Mari Vicabaya for more details. A hearing and speech-impaired entrepreneur from the municipality of Hingyon became the trainer of 14 abled loom weavers in the province during the Negosha Center training of the Department of Trade and Industry. Carol B. Tamawa of Carol's Ifugao Native Bags imparted her knowledge to participants on loom woven fabric bag making. She taught the participants the skill on how to sew loom woven fabric into bags. Through hands-on and sign language, Tamawa demonstrated to the participants the best way to compute the measurement, make the pattern, cut the loom woven fabric, and sew this into purses and backpack prototypes. In the city of Tabuk, Phil held enrolled 7,289 members in three months. Daphne Ariel has the news. Field Health enrolled 7,289 members to the state-owned Health Insurance Corporation from July to September 2016, bringing the total Field Health membership in the province to 97,490. Rumel Aranca, Tabuk Field Health Field Office head, said most of the registered members were identified the National Household Targeting System or the indigent sector. He also shared that they are doing mapping to locate the remaining person who are non-members. Social pension program benefits over 70,000 indigent elderly in the region. Daphne Oriol for the report. The Department of Social Welfare Development reported that there are 70,287 target beneficiaries of the government social pension program in the Cordillera Administrative Region. Virgilian Mariclor of DSWD reported that the social pension program has 16,515 target beneficiaries in Abra, 8,128 in Apayao, 14,511 in Benguet, 12,219 in Ifugao, 11,303 in Kalinga, and 7,601 in Mountain Province. And that concludes our 
announced the Philippine Information Agency Card News Roundup for the week. On behalf of the men and women of PIA Card, I am Helen Grace Tulliao. And I am Daryl Parino. It is 52 days before Christmas. Thank you for watching and happy view.